I was early in my career at USDOT working in cubicle land. And I had a good friend, John, who worked just down the aisle from me. He came bursting into my cubicle one morning, as much as you can burst into a cubicle. <laughs> and he said to me, he said, Shelly, oh my God, you're not gonna believe, you're not gonna believe what I just did. I said, what, what, John, what? He said, you know, I'm on that big project and we've got the team and they were all sending emails to everybody this morning and it was just stupid stuff and we weren't getting anywhere and I got so frustrated and I wanted to vent to Linda down the hall. And, and venting is fair, you just have to do it constructively. And I wanted to vent to Linda, he said, so I wrote an email to her and I used some language that oh, really a little too colorful. I said, well, yeah, John, that was not your best choice. He said, no, 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 no. I hit reply all. <laughs> I said, wow, that's really not good. He said, it gets worse. Said, How can it get worse? He said, someone who received it forwarded it to Teresa. Now, let me tell you about Teresa. Teresa was our boss. Of all the people I've had the privilege of working with, Teresa has the most integrity of anyone and she's now long since retired. She took her job as a public servant so seriously, like you take your job so seriously. She was a devout religious woman, so I know when she saw that email from one of her staff, it was a triggering event for her. I said, John, what'd she say? She wants to talk to me about it tomorrow. What do you think he did that night? And what do you think she did that night? He came into my office the next day and I said, John, how did it go? He said, you're not gonna believe it. She was completely calm. She said, you know, I know you didn't mean to do this and I know you understand how wildly inappropriate it is. All I need to know now is that it's not gonna ever happen again. Do you think that was more impactful than if she had lost her cool in the moment? You are in roles where that may be a very valid technique for you to have the presence of mind to say, you know what? Let's talk tomorrow. Let's take a coffee break. And it allows that energy to settle down. Because let's face it, that energy gets all built up and do we ever wait for it all to calm down completely before we respond? Not always. If you are not in that kind of situation, here are some techniques that you can use that have been shown through fMRI studies to settle down the nervous system. Let's try them right now in case you've got a little bit of that energy still pent up inside you. Think about relaxing your face, relaxing the area around your eyes, relaxing your jaw, because we hold a lot of tension right there. And just relax your face. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Exhale fully. Calms the nervous system. You can always count to 10. You didn't know your mom was a neuroscientist. <laughs> See, if you know it, you can, and then you can probe it. See, it's only once you've slowed down all that energy that the thinking part of the brain comes back online. Now's the time when you probe it and you say, wow, what was really going on? And you do this with your students right now. What was really going on and what can I learn from it? because here's where you create the new file folders. If you know it, you can, and then, so you don't blow it.